This is Math 142, practice test for the final. And we're gonna do number five. We're trying to find the value of x. So I noticed that I have an angle and the side opposite it, which really gets me thinking about law of sines as a possibility here. Um, this, ang this side I don't really care about. That angle will help me. So really I wanna com compare this relationship to that relationship. Um, and I can figure out that angle because I know the two angles. So if I go 180 minus the angles that I know, I'll get that angle. And let's see, that is uh, 67. So this must be 67 degrees. So now I can set up my, my law of sines. Um, and I'm going to have x over the sine of the angle opposite it. And that should be the same as 172 over sine of the angle opposite it. And I'm solving for x. So I have this sine 67 in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides by sine 67 to get x all alone. So x would equal this uh, multiplied by sine of one, uh, just 67, sorry, not 167, of 67 degrees divided by sine of 81 degrees. And now that I can just put into my calculator. And I know that I am in degrees, yes. So uh, 172 times the sine of 67 degrees. I'm going to close up those parentheses and then divide that by the sine of 81 degrees. And I get about 160.30. The direction said to round to two places, so. There's my answer.